Hi, this is Wendy Briggs with the Case Acceptance Tip. One of the most important parts of case acceptance is asking the right questions. If we haven't been asking our patients any questions at all up until now, it's no wonder we're struggling with case acceptance. But asking the right questions make the difference between the patient's perception. Um, our patients, if we're asking the right questions, will perceive that we're just trying to help them get what it is that they want. And if we're not asking the right questions, we might come across as trying to be too much of a salesperson. So asking the right questions is really a, a key part of case acceptance. Uh, one of the questions that I like to ask my patients is, you know, if we see any potential problems today, would you like to know? Uh, there's other powerful questions, too. Um, we ask our patients how interested they are in prevention. We ask them if we could save them time and money by fixing something now, uh, would they like to know about it, or would they like the choice of what their options may be? Another powerful question I know a lot of people are asking is, you know, how do you feel about your teeth, or how do you feel about your smile? Well, I have a simple suggestion that can help take a sentence like that and make it much more beneficial for both the practice and the patient. We suggest that you buy a $2 hand mirror, just a simple $2 hand mirror, and before you ask that question, hand it to the patient. Have them look in the mirror and rate their smile on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being Hollywood beautiful. And what happens is all of a sudden when the patient looks in the mirror, they're going to start pointing out all of the little minute flaws that you may not have even noticed exist in their teeth. Some patients respond very, very well to this. In fact, most patients respond well and will be very honest and clear about what uh, they would like to see different about their smile or their teeth. So taking that question that many of us are asking and just adding the hand mirror makes it a lot more profitable or a lot more effective with the results that we're getting. So again, asking the right questions after you're presenting options, even asking questions such as, is, does this sound like the kind of dentistry you're interested in? Or is this the type of treatment that you were looking for? Um, have I understood that this is the type of thing that you're, you're wanting? So that we can clarify that we're on the right page. And what happens after asking these questions, our patients actually do appreciate our help and our input. And they do perceive that we are trying to help them accomplish their goals um, rather than just trying to sell them something. So that's your case acceptance tip for today.